Let's talk mushrooms. The cultivated mushrooms that you're likely to find in your grocery store are going to be the white button mushrooms like this or the brown criminy mushrooms. Brown criminy mushrooms are actually baby portobellas and you'll also find portobellas in your grocery store as well. Either variety work well raw or cooked. Mushrooms are grown in the dirt, and that means you really should clean them before you use them in your cooking. Even though the dirt is good clean dirt, you really don't want it in your dish. Don't ever soak the mushrooms in water. Mushrooms consist mostly of water already, and if they absorb too much more liquid, they'll just get very mushy when they're cooked. I like to use a soft brush, but you can use a soft damp towel if you prefer. I've just wet my bristles slightly, and I'm just going to brush the mushroom lightly to remove any surface dirt. In preparing the mushrooms to cook, if the stalk is very thick and woody, I might just remove it and not use that at all. Otherwise, if it's nice and short, like this one, I'll probably just trim off the dry end that's been exposed to the air. Now, some recipes may call for quartered mushrooms. like so. And others you may want to slice. The only thing I would caution you with on mushrooms is that they're very soft and they roll around a lot, so get a good firm grip. Use your fingertips to hold that mushroom steady when you've got a knife attached to it. If you want to finely chop mushrooms, I just put them together on my board. I use a large knife and I use a rocking motion. I use the hand that I'm not, I'm not holding my knife with, the heel of my hand to hold the knife steady and I always keep the tip of my knife on the board. I can run through the mushrooms and I can get them chopped as finely as I need depending on what, the, what dish it is that I'll be making. Whichever type of mushroom you choose to use and however you decide to prepare it, use them when they're in their peak season in the fall and winter. Bon appétit!